everyone, my name is Shrey Tothlong and I'm back with another Oracle tutorial after a long time because I've been doing a little bit of renovations to my room and it's, I don't know, been taking up a little bit of time I haven't had any time for Oracle tutorials, but here I am uh, I'm going to show you guys how to fold this origami cube designed by Jonah Kashimo and this model is actually not that hard to make, surprisingly uh, as you can see, it's really seamless basically and uh, yeah, you can make this out of any size. I folded it out of this six inch sheet of blue comic paper. And that's gonna be teaching you guys how to fold it out today. And yeah, let's begin. So what you wanna do first is you're gonna start white side up and you're going to fold this edge to this edge. But before we actually fold it, we're going to make a pinch mark on the side here. And we're not going to be folding for a while. We're going to make a series of pre-creases and pinch marks. And now, once you've made that pinch mark, we're going to fold this edge to the pinch mark. So, just fold it up like that. Make a pinch mark on this side. And then there. Now what you're going to do is we're going to fold the paper, making... Basically, we're gonna make a line going from this point to this corner. But once again, we're not actually gonna fold it. But we're gonna to wanna to make the paper go to that pinch mark. And try to get it to like this. But we're not going to fold. We're going to make a pinch mark right around here. Like that. Once you have your pinch mark, what you're going to do now is we're going to fold diagonally and once again, we're going to make a pinch mark right about here. Make a pinch mark like that. And once you're done with that, you should have the diagonal crease, the diagonal pinch mark and the previous pinch mark after that. So we have an intersection right here of this, right here. Once we have the intersection, rotate the paper, and we're now gonna fold this edge to that intersection. And now, we're gonna fold. Unfold. Now we're gonna fold this edge to this edge, crease. Fold, rotate. Now we're going to fold this edge to this top crease. Unfold. Now finally fold this uh, edge to this crease. And unfold. And right now, as you can see, we folded the paper into five segments. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is rotate so the pinch marks are up here, or whichever way you prefer to fold it. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this edge and fold it to this area right here. So we have this intersection, the previous intersection we made this edge on, and we're going to fold this edge up to that intersection, like that. Unfold, now fold this edge to this crease. Unfold, rotate, fold this edge to this crease. Finally, just fold this edge to this crease. All right. And our paper should be uh, five by five segments. 
that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make some diagonal creases. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a series of X's. And it's specifically gonna be in these four squares here. And basically what we're gonna do now is we're going to come down here, basically, or whatever you want. And we're going to fold the paper up like this. And we're going to just make a diagonal fold from this area to the middle here, where this crease goes to the diagonal edge. So it should look like this. And now we're gonna do is we're just going to fold this edge to this edge and just make a diagonal crease from this area to this point right here and unfold and we get this as you can see we have it x and once we have this x we're going to want to replicate what we did here into this square so once again just fold this edge to this edge, crease, and fold only half. Now fold this edge to this crease and fold only half. Well, a quarter for this one. And yeah, as you can see, we have our two X's. And now we're gonna wanna do the same thing for these two squares. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. So just Fold diagonally like this, fold halfway, rotate, fold this edge to this edge, fold like that. Now fold this edge to this crease, and do the final one. So now, once we're done, we should have a series of X's that look like this. So we have four X's in these boxes right here. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate. And now, so basically we're going to take this fold right here. So the second fold from the top and make sure your X's are also at the top as well. We're gonna make this edge and we're gonna fold it up to this crease right here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Fold it up to that edge. Like that. And go under here and crease if you want as well. Like that. Now rotate and we're going to want to go for this edge to this crease. And you can also go underneath to fold. So now, it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to make we're going to, want to enhance four mountain folds basically so have your paper like this and make this mountain fold from this crease here make this mountain fold make this mountain fold and finally make this mountain fold and now once we made these folds just bring the paper together like this and here is probably the trickiest part of the, this cube. And what we're gonna do is we're going to insert, basically you can choose which way you want, but what we're gonna do is just gonna wanna, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert this segment into this segment. And to do that, what you want to do is open up this area slightly, this side. And now we have this area right here. 
to slide it in into that segment. So I should like this. It's a little bit fumbly. But yeah, it'll be like this. And we're gonna wanna do the exact same thing on this side. So it's a little hard to show. Basically it's like this. Now, once you've done that, you can just do this. And now, we've blocked it together. Like that. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to these X's. Now I just want to make this diagonal mountain fold, and as we do that, we're going to want to push this flap down. And as we do that, go to the other X and also make this diagonal mountain fold. So it should look like this now. And don't worry if the paper folds down that way. You can always push it up if you want, but it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Now what I want to do is we're going to want to make these mountain folds now. So, make that mountain fold. You can make this mountain fold. And now this flap should push down. So, it should look like this now. Now we have these little flaps. Now this is a little bit of a weird fold because it's a little bit enclosed but we're going to want to stick these flaps into these pockets here. So what you can do to help is to just put your finger in here to assist and just make this fold first. So we can have a bit of a reference. Unfold that. And then now, just slide it in if you can. Like that. Now do the same thing for this flap. So just open up this pocket if you can now just stick the flap in fold it down first if you need to yeah like that once you've done that do exactly the same thing on this side. Just make this mountain fold, make this mountain fold, push this flap down. So it should look like this. Make this mountain fold, make this mountain fold, push the flap down. And now, just stick the flaps into the pockets. And this time it will be a little harder to do because you don't have any assist through here but just try That's basically the cube done once you've, once you've done that. See ya.
Hope you guys enjoyed this little short tutorial on how to make this really cool seamless cube by Jonah Kashima. If you guys like this video, click the like, comment down below what I should do next to something. Subscribe if you want, because it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye. Thank you.